I feel like it's more of a community that, and, uh, and a pilgrimage, good crossing, that ends up turning into a race at some point. <laughs> It's hard every year. It's a it's a long paddle. It's about ten miles too long. We're training in February full time. So we started. Robert and I started back in March. Can't really prepare for 32 miles um, any other way than just putting the work in, and that's kind of the bottom line. You know, putting in the miles and and doing those Thursday night workouts with Jay the Muscle Russell, and you know, it's it's just it's so much fun coming out here and seeing all the other paddlers and the community that. Um, you know, I was born from just this sport of, you know, laying on, laying prone and being on your knees and paddling 32 miles, but it's just, it's, it's pretty rad, and it's just fun to be a part of it, and I'm just humbled to be a part of it. Yeah, tomorrow is, it's just putting your body to the test and putting your mind out there and watching your friends do well and seeing all these amazing people, and the girls' field is big this year, so a lot of girls coming out, and I love that. I grew up being on the beach in Manhattan every year my dad finished since I was zero years old and now I'm um, getting to do it and having all my best friends and everyone that um, just it's something to look forward to and I feel like if I wasn't racing and I was physically healthy and at home and I wouldn't be able to go watch it. I either have to be racing it or, or out of town or hurt. It's just one of those things that I want to do every year. I enjoy being over here, I enjoy the race, I enjoy the camaraderie uh, of being with people. The, uh, this paddling community, it's a small community, but it's a really, really neat, great community. Great people, fun people, and people that if you needed something uh, for the race, they'd reach into their own equipment and help you out. said it, it, it's sort of a, uh, a, a zen-like process of, of being in the moment. You can't think about what's behind you, you can't think about what's in front of you, you just gotta be in that moment and forget everything else. And so that's kind of the draw of a lot of these races is just letting the world just melt away to the sides and you're in your moment and you can go. And if, if you can't let your brain go that way, it can be really hard. It's one of those times where it's it's uh, it's relaxing and zen, and at the same time you're suffering like crazy and, and just pushing your body as much as you can, negotiating with yourself to keep going. backyard uh, you know it's your first glance at land after you know, 24 miles in the ocean so um, it's always kind of a happy place during the race we're all competitive and we all want to beat each other and while we're racing you know in the end we're all just really good friends and we have so much respect for each other that that's why we wait and you know sit for sit with each other you know waiting for the next guy to come in and run up to shellbacks and grab some beers together and you know it's just it's great
today's uh, August 26th, so usually about August, or August 27th is the race, so usually about August 28th I start training for the next year. <laughs> Actually, August 28, usually I'm, I'm saying I'll never do that again. And August 29, I'm like, okay, but next time, here's what I'm gonna do.